Yeah, well, Lisa, it's been 19 years of all things kibasi here in Plymouth, and it's just the same today. We're talking fresh, we're talking smoked, we're talking sandwiches and even pickled, yes, pickled kibasi here in Plymouth. And it's what keeps people lining up year after year. Nearly 20 years of kibasi and people still haven't had their fill in Luzerne County. I just like trying the different places and things, but we've been coming here, what, since they first started. Every year we come down for it. The kibasi fest in Plymouth celebrating 19 years. It attracts hungry people near and far, including this duo traveling in from the Lehigh Valley. We have 14 years now, John. No, we missed the kibasi. It's local businesses like Glen Lyons Brothers that keep people coming back year after year. They'll be serving up 1,500 pounds of kibasi over the next two days. We have uh, rings to go home and kibasi sticks. We have pickled kibasi. And it's the customers that keep these businesses going for generations, even through their toughest times. Pickle. Owner Mark Tarnowski says this year has been especially difficult after their storefront went up in flames last year. They showed their support down at the Bloomsburg Fair and they still show their support, so we're here for them. Making sure people get their fix of this local staple in new ways than ever before. This is the first time I've ever had a cheesesteak kielbasa and it's excellent. It's really, really good. And keeping with tradition, as they have for three generations. Well, we've been doing it since 46. It's in our blood, I guess. than just food, music, games, lots of fun. If you can't make it out tonight, they are back here again tomorrow. Parade steps off at 11 a.m. But I'm going to go get myself some good food. I'm going to go get in line. I'm going to send it back to you in studio. We're All right. live tonight in Luzerne County. Melissa Steininger, Newswatch 16. Sounds good, Melissa. Thanks so much for that report.